Hey guys, it's Cassie and today we have a luxury haul. There's a lot in this video, okay? So stick with me. I'm also going to try and do it in a bit of a different way than I usually do the hauls, okay? So let me know what you think of it. This is all the stuff I bought whilst I was in London this last time. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, you ready? Let's go. All of the links to these items will be below. First up, we have this Casablanca shirt. Now, I've been interested in the brand for a while. Don't know why it's taken me this long top on to the bandwagon of Casablanca, but I'm happy that I did. So, fabulous silk shirt, look at the back. Okay, we've got a mosaic, mosaic -y vibes. Are you seeing? Are you loving? Are you enjoying? Now, I've just sort of done a little button, 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 twisty twist, tuck situation for something a little bit more cropped, but obviously this is the length of it. Uncropped, right? She's versatile, you can do a lot with her. You can do it with jeans, you can do it with a skirt, any such things, right? Silk shirts, there's a lot of fun to be had there. Now, I got this in a French 36, and as I showed you, she is oversized, all right? So keep that in mind when you order, that I kind of like this vibe, you know I do. I got this from Farfetch, and whilst I did do a lot of in-store shopping, which will be in this video, I did also do a Farfetch order while I was at home, and this part of the video is sponsored by Farfetch. Can you believe I've been working with Farfetch for two years now. October is our two year anniversary. <gasps> Fantastic, and I'm very, very happy to still be working with them. If you didn't know, Farfetch is an online global platform that puts us, the consumer, in touch with boutiques, department stores, brands all over the world, onto one platform, shoppable from one place. And because of this global network, it means that you can find a lot of things that sold out in other places, purely because they've got the reach. Now, on top of having all of the designers that we know and love, they also do have a pre-loved section, they also do do beauty and menswear, and on top of that, they have access which is their loyalty schemes. The more you shop with Farfetch, the more rewards you get. You might get a little birthday discount. You might get a little, oh, shop the sale before everybody else sort of thing that is definitely worth looking into. And you know when I work with Farfetch, what does that mean? I've got a code for you and I'm happy to report that this code is for new and existing Farfetch customers. The code will be on the screen. There are brand exclusions as usual, but head down below to have a look at those but go forth and use it, enjoy. Thank you so much Farfetch to working with me once again. I've done it ladies and gentlemen. I have found the best winter autumn skirt. She is from Patu. She's a size 38 and she's perfect, okay? Now I need to talk to you about this material because it looks kind of nylon-y, but it's like a satin, but it feels durable. It doesn't feel like one of those things where like, I don't know, you're gonna rub against an unfinished table. Don't ask me why you might be in that situation and your dress and your skirt is gonna snag. Also, are you seeing this? Are you, are you seeing the pockets? I love it. It's easy, it's fun. I love the belt detail. I like the fact that the little belt hoop holes are quite large so she tucks away nicely. I've done this as a bit of pop of colour because she looks fabulous. I also enjoy the fact that it does up from the bottom down. So if you see the end of the zip is down here, you do it from the top and you zip it down. And isn't that just a nice little ergonomic easy way of doing things? She's gonna go with a boot, she's gonna go with heels, she's gonna go with a trainer. Whatever your heart desires, she is the base. She's the baseline, she's the perfect side dish to whatever meal you're creating here. Prepare yourselves, are you ready? It's a cat suit, and it's from Jean-Paul Gaultier, and I'm kind of obsessed with it. However, I jumped onto this bandwagon a little bit, a little bit late. I didn't know that he has like a full on ready to wear collection that's actually very cool and fantastic. And I saw this and I was like, this is very me. You know, I love creating a little bit of a faux cat suit in the winter, but I usually steer away from normal cat suit. I mean, obviously, how do I go?
go to the toilet and sit like a little naked fox on the thing, hoping that nobody can see me through the crack in the side. But practicalities out the window. I think it looks great. I feel like a super spy, right? I feel like I'm dropping down from the sodden ceiling with a dun 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 you know? Is she stealing the crown jewels? She may well be. Also, the material is very, which I enjoy. But, Cassie, you're just gonna be out here in a cat suit. Let me show you how I would style this. Trench it. Leave it a little bit open so that people can still see that she's cat suiting it, right? Yes, she's on a mission. She is Angelina Jolie and Mr. and Mrs. Smith, okay? This is a size medium. I'm kind of obsessed with it. I know that it's rogue and I know it's not for everybody, but I'm living my best life in her, truly. I'm starting a rule, okay? And that rule is when you find a pair of jeans that makes you feel fabulous, are soft, comfortable, and in my case, preferably have a little bit of stretch. Are you seeing this? Oh my gosh, get them in every colour. So I did. These are Roberto Cavalli. These are size 44, which is actually probably one size bigger for me, but I wanted to be comfortable on the hips. And I thought if I went to size down, they were going to be too snug. So I'm going to get them taken in at the back a little bit. I need them taken up anyway, right? Because these are a bit long. So I have pinned them to where I think is appropriate. I feel fabulous in them and they're very, very comfy. So. I've got them also in this dark grey that I thought would be nice for like a like a moody autumn darks moment. Um, especially because they're not black jeans, they're grey jeans. So that's a little bit different, I like that. Roberto Cavalli, little moments here. We've got an animal print flag and these little tusks at the back. You know that my hunt for a skinny for a non-skinny jean has been an arduous one, and I feel like I've semi-cracked it with these. She's in her Cavalli era. I never do animal print, and why not? Are we seeing this? Would we say this is an ocelot? I don't know the ins and outs of my big cats to, to that specificity, but I feel like this is an ocelot. I like the thumb holes. This is obviously a Cavalli turtleneck bodysuit. I will say the cut is quite high, so you probably don't want to wear anything too low rise with it, unless that's your vibe. I've paired it with the patu skirt. The material is very, it's like lycra it's tight to the body. I got a size medium and I'm just excited to wear this in place of normal bodysuits, you know, especially if the rest of my outfit in block colours. She's gonna pop. Mm, she's fierce. She's ferocious. Diesel's having a moment right now and I'm more than happy to participate in it doing so. So I bought a couple of tops. This is the first one. It's just a simple little zip up. Oh, oh not too much there. Half yellow, half white. And then it's got a little zippy zip at the bottom. I don't know, maybe you could do something in, you maybe could. You could maybe do something interesting. Whether I will or not is another question. This is in a size small. The arms are very snug. So if you like this, but you maybe want to feel a little bit more roomy on the arms, probably go a size up. And here we have the other one. Just a little top, just a little blue top. But do you see how it's got this sort of texture? I don't really know how to explain that. Little grey trim that looks like a TV that doesn't work anymore and a little yellow trim. And I just thought, do you want to know what? It's a cute little, it's a cute little top. And sometimes that's all things are. It's just a cute little top. Next up, we have a couple of pieces of beauty, both of which are from Westman Atelier. We have got a highlighter and a powder. I've been a bit obsessed with, mes with Westman Atelier as a brand and um, saw these and I thought, well, let's have a try. These are heavy. When they say luxury beauty, I mean, you can feel it. There's weight there. I got the translucent powder. If it looks a bit used, it's because I did give it a little try. A highlighter. Let me give it a little switcheroo, a little swatcheroo. There we go, you ready? She's a shiny goddess, but she doesn't look too glittery. That's what we want from highlighters. So I'm excited to put these into use. <coughs> <coughs> Are these over the knee, thigh high, Max Mara, woolly boots? Yes, they are. Look at the toe. Do you see the toe? Do you see the shiny leather toe? These are a bit rogue, but I love them, okay? These I also had to go half size down, 38 and a half, because they do come up big. And they're still like a little bit roomy, but I would want room for woolly socks when it gets colder. But 
I've not had anything like this before. They remind me a little bit of the Rick Owens ones. They're easy to walk around in, super comfy, fun. They do do shorter ones that come up to here that are, that are in black and also brown. But I thought, do you want to know what? Go big or go home. Sole as well is one of those like super rubbery soles that are going to absorb any impact on the streets. So these, I'm excited to wear them with leggings as I'm wearing them now with a skirt, with shorts, something that can really show them off. I wouldn't wear these like over a jean or over like a heavy material trouser because it's just not going to work. It's going to look too bulky. But I'm so excited to get these out. Now, you know that I couldn't go on and on about this jumper without buying it for myself. Yes, I got the Loewe jumper. So this is the fabulous anagram jumper. Do you see? Do you see it at the back there? And I love it. And it's so cozy and soft and wonderful. They do do a black version that's like a cardigan or the white as a jumper. This is a size large. Now, because it is cropped, I wanted it to hit here. And the smaller ones, and look, I don't think it looks too oversized on me. The smaller ones were coming up a little bit higher and a little bit on the, on the wrists. So I went for a large and I'm very, very happy. I just, the great thing about the Loewe anagram is that it's very much if you know, you know, it doesn't look too logo-y. So I don't know if you know this, but it is scientifically impossible to have enough cozy winter jumpers. So if I could just sit and lie in this and watch Netflix all day, I think then that would be my, my heaven. I got new trainers. These are the Dior One sneakers. Now, what drew me to these is that they look extremely similar to the B27s, which are my favorite sneakers, designer sneakers of all time. Am I gonna throw that out there? I think so. So they have brought these out for women. They do do an all white version or this one has, you know, some gold and then you've got the contrasting sole now these come up big right so i went a half a size down and that was a good decision now i will say i shall report back to you with regards to comfort because the last time i got women's dior sneakers i couldn't feel my toes after about 15 minutes and also i can feel that the construction of these is different to the men's one which i find quite interesting these definitely feel more solid the men's ones feel as though there's a lot less to them but that makes them really comfy so Let's see what happens with these. I think that they look good. I shall report back on comfort. It is today that I would like to make a formal apology to Max Mara for essentially ignoring you all these years and really only ever really considering your teddy coats. That has since changed. Excuse me, these woolly little trousers that are cute and fun and make me look, I don't know, I think that they look a tiny bit clown-like but in a chic way and with it's going to be getting horrendously cold here oh my gosh these are great you put tights underneath them and then you're just living your best life with a jacket running around town they are essentially elevated joggers and i enjoy that and i could also stroke my legs like this until the cows come home because they're glorious don't ask me what kind of wool mix it is strings whipped up by angels in heaven the way it feels but all you need to know is that i'm happy with them and they're comfy this i believe is a uk eight their stuff actually comes up a size bigger i would probably say so keep that in mind if you saw the video where my mum did her recent luxury haul then this is no newcomer to you so this is this fun little fendi sweater that comes with this belt now i went on and on about it in that video but i love the versatility of this because you can take this little belt thing off and wear it on a dress or something else to give it a little bit of pizzazz. What size did I get in this? A medium. Or you can wear it with this, you can wear the sweater by itself. It's just a simple black sweater with these toggles on the wrists. And then you've got this, I think it's just fun. It's fun, it's interesting. Judge it around how you like. You can dress it up, dress it down. And I just love the amount of hardware on it. I think it's fun and interesting. These are ridiculous. And I know that they're ridiculous. However, my mum bought these for me. She has a pair and she was like, these are the most comfortable shoes. They're gonna be amazing for you in New York. Well, well, she loves them to the point that she's getting them in multiple colors now. 
and I will say the inside is extremely comfortable and she's right you know it's a little bit wet and rainy and drizzly here as it is in the UK so I think I'd actually get a lot of use out of them and as I said very very comfortable are they essentially just a welly with the Chanel CC on the front yes they're not trying to be anything else <laughs> and also my calves, you know I don't have the smallest calves in the world, just, right, they're not really like rattling around in there, but they're not uncomfortable either, they're not cutting off my circulation or anything. But there we go, they also come in a khaki, I think this season has a beige, these are in a size 39 and they fit perfectly, not too snug or anything, I'm usually a 39 in Chanel shoes anyway, so there we go. I hope you enjoyed the things that I bought. Let me know what was your favourite piece. Thank you again to Farfetch for sponsoring. The code is on the screen once again, and it is for new and existing customers. This is very exciting. Go forth, use it, DM me on Instagram to tell me what you got, because I love it when you guys do that. I'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. And in the words of my father... If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.